Hi everybody. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Clark Tate and I am an illustrator and artist in San Francisco that is now, right now, here in the Redwoods or in the woods up near Tahoe and I have been staying here during these virus times. I hope everybody is safe and healthy and I'm glad you're here with us today. Uh, a little bit about me. I have uh, done a lot of portrait work. I've done a lot of illustrating for books and magazines. And I do a lot of drawings for children stuff. And I also do a lot of work for corporations where when they're trying to show a new idea, they need me to draw um, their new idea and their invention and how people use it. So I'm really excited to be doing with this here with you virtually and uh, I hope we're gonna have some fun today. So uh, I would like to show you some of my work. I'd also like to um, show you how to draw something. There is a uh, a fun drawing I hope we're gonna do with this zombie apocalypse theme today. So let's get started uh, showing you some of my work and then let's get drawing. Oh, but first, let's go see some chickens. These are the chickens that we have and maybe they'll come up to us. <gasps> Look at that, hello. These are chickens that we raised from chicks when they were little babies about 10 weeks ago. Aren't they adorable? Can you say some chickens? <laughs> you don't talk too much. Okay. Before we start, I want to show you that we're going to be using a pencil and I'd like you to get some sort of soft eraser. I'm going to be using this. Other erasers work well. Now that you've seen the finished drawing, here's how we begin this. I like to start off with circles and I want you to do this very lightly but you can just start off with really light circles and circles for everything. I'm going to do this circle for the top of the head and a circle for the ear, a different kind of circle over here for the other ear and even for the, the nose and for the big bulbous on the nose. Now, let's do another big circle here for this part. Do it really light. And this poodle has circles on his knees. long legs. 
Gonna circle feet really lightly. Now you also notice in the finished drawing there's a pug dog who is his friend. And we start him out with circles too, very light circles for his head. And there's a circle for his mouth. Let's even make some circles for his ears, although those aren't going to be circles when we finish them. This is his body. Let's give him some circle feet also. Now, since this is a zombie poodle, I'm not going to draw all of his legs because sometimes with zombies, some parts start to fall off, don't they? So I'm going to do one of his feet has fallen off here and maybe another foot here. This is his tail. What I want to show you next is how to hold your pencil. So when you're doing soft lines and this fur, we want to look really soft, even though he's a zombie poodle. I want you to, instead of doing this, like you're holding your pencil at school, hold it first between these two fingers like this, and then maybe your second finger. So you're really only holding it like this and you're turning it so that your pencil is on its side. You see how it lays flat? With your pencil flat, then you can have this kind of shading. And we can do the circle still like this, but start to work in the, the shade in that and how dark we want it. I'm making a fairly gray zombie here. So I'm going to show you how to do start this out. And then you start light and go darker and darker and darker. And you keep your pencil on its side like that. See, even when you're doing stuff on the side, I mean, stuff that are, that's, that's more pointy, you can still keep it on its side. Now, I'll show you. We'll start this this way. Do this briefly and then we'll see the rest of how we finish it in a different form. If you have an eraser now, you can go in and what I'm doing is I'm twisting this because it's big and you can actually go in and make the whites of the eyes. and erase that out. So you don't have to put those in at first. You can, but I don't. And then I'm going to draw them in like this. Then we can get darker and darker and darker with our pencil. Okay, now that we started this this way, oh, wait, let me let me just show you the pug is the same way. We do some gray on him, and his his mouth is is darker, so we'll make that darker right away, and we'll just get all his body in there. Now his ears are a little more triangle shaped, so I'm going to do that right now. 
still hold my pencil the same way and get this tone. Okay, and we'll go back and we'll do his eyes later too. What I'd like to do right now is shift to my computer and I will show you from then on how we take this drawing and put some color in it and finish it up. Okay. Okay, now that you've seen how to draw the zombie poodle, I'd like you to take your pencil and paper and watercolors or colored pencils or whatever you've got, and I'd like to see you draw a zombie animal. Now maybe it's your pet, or maybe it's something from the zoo, or maybe it's just a made up animal. But let's all draw zombie animals. And I'll be back at the end of your class and I want to see what you've drawn. We can all show them together. Okay? See you then.